Hey everyone, it's Prism's Collection Corner here, and welcome to another Media Collection Update video. It is June 28th of 2024, and I just got back from a week trip at Tahoe. Almost a week. I left Sunday last weekend, and I'm back on Friday of the next week. And on this trip, I did a lot of things, um, and I went to a couple thrift stores. I went to probably around five thrift stores, um, and only, I think, two of them had anything I actually wanted. I actually went back to one of them twice, so, well, I went to it the first time, and then again I went to it. Um, so I got a lot of stuff there. I got one DVD at Booktown Books in Grass Valley, and I'm just going to show you everything that I picked up. I've got a couple DVDs couple DVD sets, so like two of those, and then three box sets, or collector sets, whatever you want to call them. Beginning with How to Train Your Dragon, Homecoming. This is the DreamWorks Animation How to Train Your Dragon special that was released um, for the Christmas season. I don't remember what year this is. I think this is a 2019 release. So this was after the initial trilogy had concluded. Um, it is taped up, but I've heard it's in really good condition, uh, so hopefully it is. It was a cute short. I'm glad I picked up a copy of it. I have been wanting to get that one for the collection, so finding it at a good price was nice. Um, but here we actually have the DVDs that I got at the place in Tahoe, which I don't know the name of. It's just a thrift store that I go to, and they have a huge selection. So beginning with... A replacement for my two-disc special edition of the movie Aragon. This is a film that I've seen at least once. I know it isn't very faithful to the book. I don't care. I just wanted a fun movie. Um, and I think I did enjoy it. Uh, but I found a two-disc edition copy that was faded. And then I just found this one that wasn't. So went ahead and replaced that copy. This is in really nice condition with beautiful artwork. I love that shot of the dragon on the front cover, and yeah, that's Aragon. All right, and then we have a uh, TriStar Pictures 1980s film. I think this came out like 1988, maybe 1991. Uh, this is the Western Legends of the Fall, uh, the special edition. This came in factory sealed. Like, this is completely sealed, from what I can see. Not came in, but I picked it up completely factory sealed. There's a few bonus features on here. Deleted scenes, original making of, trailers. I think it'll be interesting. Um, yeah. Then we have another disc that is sealed here. This is the original 1950... Sorry, 1963... Uh, Sci-Fi Epic War of the Worlds. This is not the Tom Cruise version. This is the original version. Um, and so obviously it's going to have old CGI and stuff. But I thought it would be cool to have in the collection. They actually had a discount where you could get... Uh, sorry. Where you could get 10 DVDs for $20. So I was trying to hit the 10 mark. And I just picked this one up. There's no real harm. You know, I've never seen it before. It'll be cool to have in the collection, and cool sci-fi film. All right. Then we got a couple of Warner Brothers releases. I'll start with the uh, sealed one, the less interesting one, because, you know, just a single disc. Uh, this is Maverick. I just saw this film for the very first time. I had no idea what it was really about, um, but... The day that I saw it, later in the evening, I picked up a copy on DVD. And it's a very funny film. I don't know if I would have chosen to bought to have bought the movie if I had seen the film beforehand. But it's got great actors in it. It's a funny film in some moments. And why not? I need more comedies in my collection. But to change the tone, here is a historical epic. Maybe not a historical epic, but a more dramatic film. This is called uh, Malcolm X. This is the two-disc special edition. I've seen this movie pop up in multiple thrift stores, and I've just never seen it, so I've never picked it up. 
but when I realized this was the edition with more bonus features and whatever, I wanted to get a copy of it. Um, and I do plan to watch this at some point. I just haven't yet. It's going to be very serious, very intense movie, uh, I would assume, so need to be in the right mood for that. And then we have a great two-disc set that I found of a movie. This is a comedy I've not seen in years. Um, I saw this when I was probably not at the right age. You know, whatever. Um, I saw this a few years ago. Maybe four or five years ago. And I decided that I was going to try it again. This is Big, the Tom Hanks comedy from 1988. But this is the extended edition set. So what's in here is the movie with the theatrical and the extended cut and bonus features, including all the deleted scenes separately. Which I'm kind of disappointed about that they're not different deleted scenes, but whatever. This is a really cool set. This has everything that I could want if I own big on DVD. This is everything I could want. You've got deleted scenes, you've got bonus features, you've got the movie, both versions of the movie. You've got cool artwork. And it was a really cool set. And I did watch the movie twice in a row. I watched the theatrical cut and the extended cut from 2007. And I don't think it's one of those extended cuts where it's terrible. It isn't like just a bunch of unneeded gags or anything like that. There are more heartfelt moments. I get why they cut stuff. But, you know what? Whatever. You know, it's a different version of the movie, and I love collecting that kind of thing. So, it's nice to have both versions on the same format. But now we're going to get into the really exciting stuff. So these are DVD sets and bigger DVD collector sets. So these first two are duplicates of ones I already have. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I kind of want to just keep them because they're in such nice condition. But this is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I bought this a couple trips ago, actually. Uh, I bought a new copy of this. But this one's even nicer than the one I picked up. I assume the discs are in good condition. I haven't really looked yet, but just look how pristine that artwork is. Like, I'm definitely keeping this. I would definitely keep a copy of this in my collection. I've said before, but I love these Warner Brothers collector sets. And they were just so cheap. These were only $2, so I thought, why not get a backup, you know? Uh, especially for this one, because my last one was a little bit scratched up. This is Singing in the Rain. Another two-disc edition copy. I watched this film, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I'm glad that I got another copy of it. And let me be clear that I don't normally double dip on... Well, that's kind of a lie. But it's better for me not to double dip on a DVD release, especially if it's the exact same one. But these were so cheap, and these are so rare that I wanted to make sure that I had a backup. And I'm just really glad I got these, because my Singing in the Rain is in good condition, but it could be in even better condition, and so I am going to be keeping both of them. And I'm going to try not do that. I'm not going to go and buy a duplicate or a replacement unless it's really cheap. But that is that. All right, so now we get on to the big DVDs collector sets. I've got three of them. Two of these are films that I already own on multiple formats. One of them is a TV series entitled... Amazing Stories, presented by Steven Spielberg. This is the complete first season, so there's multiples of these, actually, that I need to pick up. Uh, but if I like the series, I've never seen this before, um, but in here, what there basically is, is all four discs. So you've got the whole television series season one in here, and you've got a little bit of chapter info, um, and yeah, it's a really cool box set, not rated, so I'm actually not sure, you know, uh, what the show is meant to be rated, but it isn't rated, um, black and white, color disc, 
approximately 10 hours and 21 minutes. Yeah, really cool set to find, and I only got this for $2. That is a little bit insane, but I picked up that for $2. And then I picked up these. These I don't need, but why not? Why not? X-Men 1 and 2. So this is the X-Men collection with X2 and X1. And then X-Men The Last Stand. These are collector sets. So what this has is... Well, this, this tape to the back of it, which is cool. But then in here, you have... Oh, what's the way you're meant to do this? I think it's this way. You have disc 1, which fell out of here. That's not good. Well, you've got X-Men 1, Disc 1 and 2, and then you've got X-Men 2, or X-Men United, Disc 1 and 2. And the discs like to fall out of the cases. But, there's that. You've also got a little booklet in here. It's just a really cool set for both the movies. I seriously don't need this. I have these films on so many formats. Like, I have the entire X-Men trilogy on Blu-ray. I have X-Men and X-Men 1.5. But it was really cheap, so it was kind of hard to pass up. I just thought it'd be cool. Uh, and then X-Men The Last Stand. And this one has the cool, like, oh, you remove the glove. And you just have that. Um, so that's a really cool sleeve. But then in here, you've got, obviously, the artwork, which is really nice. Um, and then in here is a comic book and a third copy of X-Men The Last Stand. And as standing, I have one copy of X-Men The Last Stand in my shelf on DVD, one copy of X-Men The Last Stand in the metal case set, one copy of X-Men The Last Stand in this box set, and one copy of X-Men The Last Stand on Blu-ray. It may not be my favorite out of the trilogy, but it seems to be the most collectible out of the trilogy. I have so many copies, and I really need a downsize, but for now... That's what I got. That's what I picked up on this trip. A very cool trip. Um, a very cool haul. Probably going to be my, my last one for a while. I'm really trying to die down on how much I'm collecting things. Maybe not trying to, but I have been. So, anyways. Thanks, guys. Peace for now. Bye.